Bagwan people, welcome to another episode of Coffee Show. And today we have a fun, fun episode for you, right? So last week we did a uh, how well we know each other kind of challenge. Well, it's a powder challenge, but it was questions about ourselves, how well we know each other. And we all know who won that, right? So this week, because of all the hate I was feeling, we had to come up with five things that we hate about each other but the thing is i don't think we know this about ourselves so we're going to be revealing this for the first time today we all know there's nothing um as a perfect relationship there's always going to be flaws so i guess you know these are the flaws that we have and i guess we're working with it right definitely definitely okay so how are we going to decide who goes first Scissors, I guess. I don't even know how that works. Let's try. Okay. Okay. Rock, okay. paper, scissors. Show me what you got. <laughs> okay, you want. Okay. Oh, I won? Yeah, okay. Scissors cool. got a paper. Oh. All right. So, Latoya will go first. Okay. All right. So, honey. All right. I absolutely, absolutely hate um, your alarm clock. Absolutely hate it, guys. So, if my husband had, you know, let's say he's going to work and he gets up at seven, please tell me why is it that the alarm clock has to go off from six a.m. All right. So that's to me like you're robbing me one hour, which I think is pretty unfair because he's able to go back to sleep each time it snoozes. But for me, I can't go back to sleep, you know, the minute I hear it. So that's kind of like one of the most annoying things but honey, I hate about you. I can't just get up as the alarm go off and get, you know, jump in the bathroom and get ready for work. I have to snooze it a couple of times. Like, I don't know, I, I, two, three, four times sometimes, you know. But what about me though? That's like but, one hour that you robbed me. Yeah, but you're gonna be home all day sometimes and you can't go back to bed. But I mean, the kids, they get up at seven. Why should I be up from six? And you're able to go back to sleep. So, I don't know. We're gonna have to try to figure that one out. Because it's, it's... So, out of being late for work, with no alarm, or you get up a couple of times. But I usually, no, but I usually wake up on the first time it goes off. Yeah, so, but we're maybe different. if we just set it for seven, and just trust me enough. Trust you? That, yes, because to wake me my, up. Because once mine goes off at seven, then I'll wake you up. Yeah, but I don't want to wake up at, at the first time though. I want to snooze it a little bit and get the sleep it drains out of me. You know, like <laughs> every time, every time it goes off, it's like, you know, I'm up a little more. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be getting the hammer, and I'm gonna be hammering. Alarm clock. Hammer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, one of the worst things, right? Worst things. Jesus, Samuel, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm used to it now, but I hate it still. When we're going out, right? We could be going out at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. My wife gets up at like 6 o'clock. I get up at 9.30 to go out at 10 o'clock and at 10 o'clock my wife is still not ready after getting up at 6 o'clock. Like really bro? Really? Okay, I know the ladies can um, back me up on this one. Ladies, you know we have to, you know, take a nice shower and you know we gotta get our makeup done and our hair have to be laid and you know what i mean so of course it's gonna take a longer time i think that's just a common assault i mean that's just something that men just have to work with yeah but like four hours i don't think it's i think you're exaggerating a bit i don't think it's that long it's not that long guys i promise you it's not well if the ladies can relate to you i know the men can relate to me bro four <sighs> hours <laughs> okay it's all good all right, so let's see what else I have. Okay, there's another thing I don't like about you. Okay. So, 
my husband will ask me questions that he already know the answer to. I don't know what it does for him or what, or it maybe he knows that it annoys me. So he going to ask me anyway, because maybe he just wants to annoy me. I don't know. But we could be staring at the sky, right? And the sky is clearly blue. And we're looking at it together, right? And he'll say, honey, what color is the sky? And I'm looking at him like, what? What if it looks different to you though? You know, some, sometimes on Facebook, people be showing pictures where like, does this look gray to you or does it look black to this person? Ain't wrong with your eyes though. You know, but sometimes, it's like, and, and that's just an example. I, I, I don't be asking about those guys. But what I'm saying though is, sometimes you want to value someone else's opinion, Wait, you know what I mean? Or maybe it's just conversation. Exactly. Maybe he's probably just trying you know, to start just a trying conversation to... or whatever. But at the same token, um, it annoys me. Wow. I'm just saying. See that? No, because if you already know why... why How would you know I know? Me, you know. You know when you know you did it, <laughs> just admit it kind of thing? We know the answer, but sometimes it's nice to get confirmation. Exactly, that's what it is. Confirmation. Okay. <laughs> confirmation is... Okay. All right, number two, right? All right. Every time I go in the shower, I have to clean up these chunks of hairballs, like some of them are balls. Oh, we don't talk about my hairballs and stuff. I ain't got no hair. How about when we be shaving, there be hair all over the bathroom, the sink, and even though even though he cleans up the sink, guys, oh my God, there's hundreds of hair still sitting there. Hundreds. Don't even talk about the floor. But I clean up though. Okay, his cleanup is not my cleanup. So you want to talk about my hair in the shower? What? But every time though, like every day, every day. Well, I shave like every, every other day. day, okay? So she has to deal with mine every other day. It's not even that bad, I clean up. But in the shower, every day. Hair ball. That's not true, because I don't wash my hair every day. Well, I don't know where they be coming from, so. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so let me see what else. You know what, honey? There's really nothing else I dislike about you. I'm the man. Get in! <laughs> Don't you wish. My list is very long, but I'm just going to narrow it down to What? You. Okay. So, um, let's see. So the next one is, he thinks whatever he says goes. Like, he thinks he's right. All right, so... You hate on me because okay. I'm right? No, listen guys, listen. So he will, let's say for instance, we go furniture shopping, right? And if I say, oh, I like this one, he'll say no. He, even though he likes it, but just because I said I like it, he wants to like something else. But wow. guess what? At the end of the day, he comes right back and he chooses what I chose in the first place. So I just don't get it. No, it's like... He will block me from everything, my opinions, everything first, but always come running and have no choice but to agree. No, 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 no. It's happy, true. You happy know it wife, all the time. happy life. So, so why did you just agree the first time? Because though? I have to have an opinion. I mean, can't I say I don't like it? If I don't like it, I don't like it. But I understand that. To avoid but... argument, to avoid the no. the silent treatment. No, you just know that I'm usually right and you know you trust my judgment but you just don't want to give me credit for that and i'm the one always you're right always right. shortchanging she, me when it comes on you're to telling that. me how i feel about it how I feel. <laughs> and i'm the one who's always right really wow okay so number three for me right my, my wife is a master at this guys if your wife do this you can relate so she could take the simplest the simplest problem and she turns it into a like the world is ending right perfect example in texas right when it gets really hot there are cracks around the house so they warn us to like water water the yard you know just make sure that the, the earth is moist and things like that but it gets really hot so sometimes there are cracks around the yard and my wife came home one day and saw this crack by the house and she was like man there's a crack by the house. I, th I think the house might be splitting in two and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, I honey, 
that happens to everybody's house, right? We just need to turn the hose on, water the place a little bit, you know, da, da, da. Like, she wasn't having it. I'm like, okay, let's get someone to come out and look at it. Same thing they told her. Man, she was having a heart attack. You know what I mean? Heart attack. And you know what? When the guys came out and looked at it, she didn't even tell me that they came and they said it was fine. I had to ask her, I'm like, the guys came? What, what, what's going on, you know? Embarrassed. Small things, man. The, the, the faucet can be dripping. Like, we're having a flood. Life this. Boats, all of that stuff. <laughs> no, because if I see a problem in the house, I want to address it, like, ASAP. I don't want to wait until next month or next week. Because you never know, it may get worse. So, so you're telling us about I, it being worse than it is right now? Because, no, see, I don't know, maybe I'm more... Maybe I'm looking at the long term of maybe spending more. So I'm like, well, if we can address it and get it fixed as soon as possible, then, you know, the better it, it will be later on. Okay. So maybe that's why I panic when it's Exaggerating the problem. That's what she is. <laughs> Y'all believe that? Yep. Oh, whatever. All right. So my last one is, because I think we said we're going to do five, but... I mean, there's really not a lot of things that I dislike about him. I guess I'm just, I don't know, I got lucky, I guess. I don't well, know. Well, I have five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, give us your last one. Okay, so um, I absolutely hate when. So he get excited to start a new project, you know, get excited. Um, you know, um, I think. A while back, I had bought him like a tool set from Home Depot and, you know, it gets excited and whatever. And then next thing you know, um, over the months, there's tools here everywhere. He can't find stuff, you know. I mean, he was killing me that Christmas that, I mean, that's what he wanted, you know. And he came home and that excitement, I guess, just went through the door or something. I right? least I used it. <laughs> yeah, but he can never find his tools. Like, they're all over. And another thing, too um like we just recently painted um in our bedroom and bear in mind he's usually a neat person Pretty usually i could say maybe always. he's a perfectionist exactly but he'll get excited to start but then if there's a little thing that needs fixing or whatever he said he'll do it tomorrow and then tomorrow turns into next week and then the next month guys i have proof Another thing too, our Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. That's down. Guys, I knew he was going to say <laughs> that. So when I started it, he, he was so excited. He and I did to put up this Christmas tree, right? And um, yeah, so he was excited to put up the Christmas tree from November. Was it November or maybe October? After Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. October, because he always gets excited. After Thanksgiving. Okay, all right. So, um, I think when I was taking a shower, you peeked and I looked at my paper because you knew I was going to mention this Christmas tree. No, I did tree. that. I did that from when I was downstairs because washing up the dishes. Because when I went back downstairs, there was half a Christmas tree. No, I was. And this is the half. I don't know if y'all can see it. So technically, the Christmas tree is still up. That looks like a picture from November, when we were putting it up. And we're now in March. So. That's one of the things I dislike about him because he'll start a project, get excited, and then he, I don't know. That well, I'm like, thinking my nice wife, you know, she's so nice and supportive of her husband. I started taking it down. Can't you finish it? I guess I could. Yes, I guess you but could. But you know what, guys? There are other things that I, there's so many other things I have to do in the house. Yeah, like worry about the alarm clock. Taking down a Christmas tree is not on my priority list. Like, I feel like if you put it up, you should be able to take it down and put it where it's supposed to go. Okay. And that was your last question. That was my last okay. concern. Okay. Yes. Over to yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen. This one is epic. Like, epic, epic man. man. So, I eat. Like, around the clock, I eat. Like, I don't care. I just go eat. I don't care if I'm getting fat, getting tall, sideways, long ways, nothing. I eat, right? So at 10 o'clock in the night now, right? I'm like, man, I'm so hungry. I say, honey, do you want something to eat? I was wondering where you were going with that. I'm like, no, I can't eat now. 
I'm gonna get fat, all of that stuff, right? Okay, that's fine. Went downstairs, bring up my food. Or should I say, I go downstairs, bring up some food. Honey, you know what? On second thought, can I have a spoon? <laughs> Half a plate. One sitting down like <coughs> one spoon, two spoon, three spoon, four spoon. But honey, that's Half a plate. Every time. Do you know what I do now? Honey, you want some food? Oh no, I'm good. Two plates. Two plates. Honey, I stay too bad sometimes. No, no, no. Chop. It's annoying, man. Like I'm going down, I'm bringing up the food for her. She just got like, let's say yes. Oh no. You wanna get fat? I don't wanna get fat. I can't eat this leg. I brush my teeth already. Yeah. I brush my teeth already. Yeah. Man. But you know, guys, okay, so sometimes you really don't feel like you want anything. But then he comes up and the food smells so good. Two minutes after. You know what I mean? So it's like. She never feel like she wants something two minutes yeah, after. Yeah, but, but it smells good. So that aroma, it kind of triggers, you know, and triggers your taste bud. And. I mean, Guys, I, I can't help it. I'm not a meanie or anything, right? Because I offered to, to bring some food. I started to feel like he was becoming a meanie no, no, when no, it comes no, on no. food. It's at just, night. it's just annoying, man. Like, I mean, if I can offer you something, you can't even take it. But then you want—it's like you don't want to accept it. You want to grab it. Exactly. That's what it is. Because it tastes good. Great. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Number five. Yeah, more. Okay, this is not so bad, but it's it's all right. I mean, I could not mention it, but I'm gonna mention it because she woke me on the powder challenge, right? <laughs> wow. So listen, bed, right? Payback. My wife, right? She goes to bed, and when she goes to bed, right, she wants to be comfortable. Doesn't matter if I'm comfortable or not. She wants to be comfortable. So I have to lay down. She has to put her leg on top of my back and I just lay there until she decides she's not comfy in that position no more and she gets up and I'm like, man, I want to turn, I want to breathe, I want to do something and she's just like, BAM! And I'm just gonna like... But guys, he knows before we go to bed, okay, so before I start sleeping, that's... I try to get into a comfortable position and that's how I generally fall asleep and then once I'm you know deeper in the sleep then I turn I mean we've been sleeping together for how long you should be used to this by now uh, if you That's never want to <laughs> I'm just saying I mean uh, as I said it's not major but boy I don't know okay it's well crazy. maybe I should get a pillow what do you guys think do you guys think I should get a pillow that way I don't have to burden him at night with my heavy legs, according to him. Or maybe she could get the, the other half of the Christmas tree. <laughs> ah, that's not funny. Well, I mean, at, least, at least there's not too much that you don't like about me. That's good. Yeah. And I could, I could, work, with, um, I could work with the leg, the exaggeration of the problems, the hair in the shower. Uh, oh, there was one more. There was one more. I just thought of one. What? It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, it's, don't um, it. it's not bad. But it's like when you use the toilet. And I know every female watching this video is going to agree with me. Why is it that they cannot? Remember, they're the ones lifting the toilet seat. Why is it that if you see pee around it, you guys can just wipe it? I mean, they will go. I mean, I listen. If you know me, I cannot, I don't like to smell pee in my bathroom, so I'm always cleaning and sanitizing my toilet. But I'm just saying, like, if a day passed, you know, and he used it, and sometimes my kids will come in my bathroom and they use it too. Come on. You see it, and you're holding it, you're touching the seat. Why is it so hard for men but we, to just wipe the seat? I don't think we think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so do you not see it or do you see it and then you just no, ignore it? No, how could we? I'm, I have to focus. <laughs> we focus, like we don't be but looking over there, looking over there. But you're the one making a mess though. I don't stand and pee. Yeah, but 
Well, yes. remember, you guys sit down, so you have auto lock to. focus. <laughs> we have to focus. So we have to pay attention one place. We don't be looking all over and oh, there's P there and oh, 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 oh. No, we don't be doing that stuff. We focus, get it done, go back to bed. I think she just made but, it up because she... No, I didn't make it up. But I mean, it's just one of those flaws that I have decided that I won't let um, bother me anymore. So if I see it, I just clean it up and I just move on. No arguments, I don't say anything to him. I just do it and we're good. Oh. <laughs> I should get a kiss for that one. One more. Because <laughs> I didn't have any more to say about it. Yeah, exactly. You. <laughs> well guys, it was so much fun making this video. We're and ready. if you would love to see us do more videos like these, please leave a comment in the... In the comment section? <laughs> yeah, and subscribe to the channel, man. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's gonna be fun. We have a lot of things planned, and we are always working on new ideas and collaborating with people, and you know, getting feedback from our friends and family to do good, good stuff. So we'll be doing a lot more work. We'll be incorporating our kids more, and. Um, and if you have any ideas of things that you would love to see us do, mm -hmm. please also just leave yeah, let us know. Also, we'll be going live sometimes where we'll be yeah. playing like a family game night kind of and uh, we'll be posting where we'll be announcing when we're going to go live so people can join in live and we'll be playing games and asking questions yeah, and things like that. We want it to be very interactive. Definitely, um, definitely. We haven't really decided on which day of the week, um, but we'll let you know um, further ahead and we can just kind of like, you know, become one big happy family where we have something to look forward to each week we can interact and you know share different views and opinions on things and you know just fun stuff definitely, positiveness definitely. Yeah. so it was an absolute pleasure making this video please like it share it with your friends please and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so we're trying to make positive family fun related videos okay yes. so it's going to be very very epic a lot of stuff that we will be doing you're going to love it so share it with your friends, as I said, leave a comment, tell us what you think, you know, tell us how your husband acts, things that you don't like about your husband and your wife or oh, your yeah. wife, you we'll know, things like know. that. Just let us know about your significant other. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be safe, y'all. <laughs>